Good afternoon, everybody. It is Fantastic Friday, and we all know what that means. It means we have Mike Zuber, one rental at a time. Mike, it's been a busy week. Yeah, I, I, it's been a good week. Another another fun week in uh, in our world. So <laughs> yes. th- thank you very much. Jobs, huge disappointment. Yeah, dude, 210 on a 546 expectation. Uh, oh, and oh, by the way, the unemployment rate goes down. It's <laughs> down at 4.2%. Man, d- discouraged workers, wage inflation. It, it is a wacky time uh, in the economy. Well, and we all know when there's inefficiency in the markets, if you know you're doing what you're doing and you've done your homework, this is the time where we get to make hay. Yes. So let's make some hay. One of the things we talked about real briefly on our three amigos yesterday, which was, as always, super fun, but yesterday was really, really fun. It was a good time. Yeah. Um, one of the things that we kind of talked about a little bit was, uh, the buyout clause or the the refi clause in a typical commercial loan. So now we're talking kind of more than four units. Mm -hmm. So five units and greater. Um, And one of the things that a lot of people might not know is that there is a prepayment penalty. I, yeah, and it can be pretty steep, right? The five, four, yes. three, two, one. These are not usually in a residential loan. There is no prepayment penalty. If there is, it's a year. Right. So, and it's so walk walk people through the five four three two one because most people know, only know four three two one, which is a wealth creation strategy, yeah. right? In your yeah. in your course that I actually teach. Yeah. But talk about the other side of this, which is the five four three two one, which is the exact opposite of a wealth strategy. <laughs> yeah. No. It's it's definitely how commercial banks um, really what so commercial banks want they do adjustable rate loans. They want it. Basically, the difference between a commercial and a residential loan is the commercial lender wants to keep you in that product for most of the loan. Right. Right. Residential loans, the average age is something like four and a half years or five years. Commercial usually goes to term because of these prepayments. And again, a 54321 means let's just use a real example. You had a million dollar loan. Actually, you know what? Let's make it 100 grand so people can say, oh, I could do that. So a 54321 would mean, okay, you get your $100,000 loan on a five unit property. If you want to do another refi or sell it, basically terminate the loan. If you do that in the first 12 months, you owe $5,000. Five times hundred grand is your prepayment penalty. So it's rather steep. Four, meaning year, you know, year two, it's four grand, three, three grand, two, two grand, and, and, and so on. So again, the difference between a commercial loan is... They actually, the banks want to keep you in it for most, if not the full term, hence the very steep, um, you know, it's, it's, it's damn near painful, right? Yeah. Uh, so again, a, a, in, a, in a residential loan, if you get a half a point or three quarter points, it could make sense to refi. You get a half a point or a three quarter point year in year two, it's like, oh, I got to swallow four points. Yeah. Whew, yeah. That's, that's tough. So I think, Mike, I think you're bringing up the perfect point, which is, so we all love real world, real world examples. Yeah, of course. So I have a property that last year, and we'll call this segment, if you will, we will call this segment prepayment or don't. Okay. All so right. the idea is, is that I bought this property a few years ago. Okay. Let it age. When yep. I let it age, I, so I've owned this property for coming up on five years. Okay. I've let this property age. I did a refi last year okay. at 3.75%. All right. Five years. Yeah. Or so the normal 54321. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. So my payment is 4154 a month. Okay. The the uh, the property was valued at eight hundred and forty five thousand dollars last year. Last year. Eight eight forty five? Yep. Okay. The principal on the loan is $518,000. Got it. All right. And the monthly, the gross monthly income is, uh, is just under, call it nine, call it $9,000. All right. I'm with you. Okay. Okay. So gross monthly income, 9,000, uh, mortgage is 4,154. Value is eight forty five as of last year, and mortgage as of today is five eighteen. All right, I'm with you. I got all the numbers. Okay. I am only one year into my prepayment penalty. Yeah, so you so, whacked off the five. Now you're four. Right. So 
if I'm looking at this right, I am 4% of 845. No, you're 4% of 518. I'm sorry, 518, yeah. Yeah, you're 20 grand deep. Right. So I'm 20,000 bucks writing them a check. Before any other fees. Before (laughs) any other fees. Yeah. I got to write them a check for 20K or 22K. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Or 20, yeah, 20, we'll call it 20, we'll call it 21K. 21k so i gotta write a check for 21k so the question before you mr zuber do you refi and keep in mind that i can do an appraisal cash out refi at 70 percent, and i believe that this property is probably worth at least 950 okay so we'll say it's worth 950 Okay, so 950 today. Last valuation was 845. Okay, yep. I'm with you. All and right. I can do, I can get 70% of that loan to value. So what is that? 950. So that's times. 20, that's 285. So yeah, so that's what 950 minus 285. Sure. So 650 plus 15. So 665. Yep. Yeah. All right. 665. All right. Minus the 518. Mm-hmm. So I can pull about 150 grand out of it. One, 147. Yeah. yeah, 147. Okay. All right. All so right. the question is I, I have more questions first. Okay. So uh, what would you be refining into? Another 54321 or into something else? So the other option. So that's where we can, that's where it can be pre, pay the prepayment penalty or don't, or non-QM fixed price lending. Mm-hmm. But you would still pay the prepay. You still pay the prepay, right? And wow. my payment's going to go up markedly because uh, I'm I don't not, know. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going to guess. Seven, I'm at 375 now. Hold okay. on. Yeah. Your amortization, I'm going to guess is 25 years. It is. Yep. So right. non-QM yeah, 30, is 30, 30 years. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you're shocked. Higher interest rate, that extra 60 months of payment actually sometimes will shock you. So you got to do the math, as you say. Yep. But the rate, the rate will certainly be higher. Yes. The rate will be higher. Four, four oh. and a quarter. I'd probably assume four and a half. I mean, four and a half. Okay. You know, call Stephen Dow to get exact. Yep. But yeah, it's not going to be in the threes. Right. It ain't, it's, yeah, it's not three seven five. Um. So something that a lot of people that usually watch our channel probably don't know. Mm-hmm. Is that the appraisal for this property? Oh yeah, it's probably going to cost five thousand bucks. Yeah, commercial for sure. Yep, I'm going to a... try to. I'm going to try to do the math. Where's a mortgage calculator on my phone? Let's see. Come on. Keep going. Ask me a more question. Yeah. I'm so so as that. we're so as we're going through this, kind of the numbers like we've talked about. So oh, it's okay. Here we go. So yeah. so let's say so I so let's say what did we say the loan was? The loan is five eighteen. No, what's it going to be? Six six sixty five. Yep. Okay. So six sixty five. We're gonna. So if you did it with the bank and you had twenty five year amortization, what rate do you think you could get? You have three seven five. What could you get today? I can get three seven five today. Again. Okay, yeah, so five three, with a with a five on a five year, and we're going to assume twenty five uh, year yep. payment period for this. Correct. Rate. So six sixty five, three seven three point seven five percent interest rate, twenty five year AM is three hundred or three thousand four hundred and nineteen dollars. So not taxes, not insurance, just principal and interest. And taxes on this property are. I'm about, not going to worry about that. I'm okay, just got gonna, it. Because that'll because, be the that'll be the same on either one. Yep. So now right. now six sixty five but a higher interest rate, let's assume four and a half. And again, I don't know what it is, but we're going to go from 25 year AM to 30. Aha, as expected, your payment goes down. Yeah, okay. Your payment went from 34.19 to 33.66. So it didn't go down a lot. But again, what people need to realize is what I've given you with Velocity Mortgage is 30 year money commercial. Not and again, sometimes these five four three twins aren't twenty five year AMs. Some of them are twenty year AMs. Yeah, so you got to check that. These the, uh, the commercial world is so different than residential. People watching this channel need to realize the structure of the loan products different. Not only five four three two one, but the AM period is different. In sixty months makes a difference. Your your rate went up. Your rate went up 
15 percent yeah but your payment went down because you had an extra 60 months so you got you got to really do you got to do the math do the as math. your famous uh, quote says yeah do the math so so there basically the numbers are 34 19 versus 3366 assuming a 3.75 and a yep. four and a half yep yep and i'd be creating one hundred and forty seven thousand dollars on cash out well let's subtract your 21 uh yep you're pre-paying. correct yep 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 so, so the, the 126 one, yep 126 so i'll put that as a net cash out correct that'd be net yep it would probably be more like 120 because you're going to have appraisal and, and blah, blah, and blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's still 120 grand. Yep. Um, well, actually, but your payment's going to go up because before your loan was only 518. Right. So, let's do that. So, 518. But it was three point. Well, I can tell you what my uh, old payment was. My old payment without taxes and insurance. It should was, have been two six six three is what this says. Yeah, it was two. It's like uh, it's like it was like twenty twenty eight eighty six okay. or something. Close like enough. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So your payment's going to go up six or so basically your payment goes up somewhere between five and six hundred bucks. You get roughly one hundred twenty grand in cash. Yep. Is it worth it? That's really what we're asking. Sounds like it might be worth it. Uh, uh, so how long to your next year rolls off? Because basically what we're talking yeah. about here is Good another question. year you save, another year you save five grand. Yeah. So the next, so my year just rolled off. Oh, so you got like 11 October. months. So the one thing I've done, and I've only had this work one time, okay, is I went back to the bank that had my loan. And I said, you know what? I'm thinking about refining this out. I want to keep it with you but can we work something out? And I had them whack off one of the years because I was in year two or in year three. They gave me that year. Okay. So instead of in your case, paying 4%, I would pay three of their prepay. It's worth a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do. But yeah, then, and then the question becomes really, I mean, I don't mean this to come across crass, but it might be. Oh. So right now you're basically looking at, do you want 120 grand? Yeah, which comes with six hundred dollars less cash flow. That's basically what we are talking about. Yeah, my cash flow is already like my cash flow on this building is like. Oh, it's a safe deal. Four it's thousand, just yeah, four thousand. But six thousand times twelve is seventy two hundred bucks. I mean, yep. it just is right, Matt. Yep. So, do you want one twenty now or seven grand a month? That's the question. What's more important? Yeah. So I think that if it were just that, I may leave it. Right. But I think the thing that's more appealing is getting into the fixed re- de- debt structure. Well, yeah, but so that would be the second, that would be the non-QM, right? You got to go right. have that conversation. So let's just say it was at four, let's say it was 499. Let's see what that would do. So again, I got to go back and change the number. So we're going to go back to 625, no, 665, 665. Yep. And let's do 499. Because I don't know what rate the rate will be. Sure. But you're going to get 30 years. So, okay. So if it was four, so again, 3.75 to keep everybody up to date, the payment would be 3419 at 665. If you went up all the way to 4.99, it would go to 3566. So it would be an extra 150 bucks roughly, but you would get 120 grand. But, and you would have no, to me, interest rate risk. No interest. That's the wrinkle, the special sauce. That's right. I, I did it. I did a I did a cash out refi four nine nine. I didn't get four and a half. I got four nine nine. Um, I did it because I didn't want the risk in five years. I do not want. I mean, you guys, you guys don't understand. I am freaked out by where money will be in four to five years. I have every single loan thirty year fixed. I am paying four point nine nine for thirty year money on an office building that I own free and clear because I think I can use the money in your case, 120 grand yep. better. Yep. And I have zero interest rate risk. Worst case scenario, two, two and a half, three years go by. The money's sitting in a separate account. I stroke a check, pay off the loan. That's the worst case scenario. That's right. And it was cost of money. Yeah, it's cost of money. I, the building cash flows as is. I just, I leave it there. If I get a, if I'm paying five and I can find 12 in three years, I win. 
If I don't, I pay off the loan. No harm, no foul. Yep. And again, I mean, the 120 is nice because that leads into probably buying another duplex. Probably. Or triplex, Mm -hmm. which will be cash, which will be creating cash. And And a bigger base for inflation. Exactly. And at rate of my return, which is like 20% right now on pretty much any deal I touch. More than 5%. It's pretty sexy. It's pretty sexy. And, but again, I think the thing I love most about this and why I wanted to cover this in this video today was because interest rate risk. I'm telling you. This de-risks me further. I, I, well, clearly, I I mean, again, I, you're going to make your decision, but I, I was so freaked out about interest rate risk. I seeked out a non-QM lender, which I added to my expert series and I did deals. Yeah. I don't want them. Yep. Nope. I think, and, and in my portfolio of 30, three, 33, 34 loans right in that ballpark, um, mm-hmm. depending on what day. Um, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> in that, in that portfolio, I only have, this is one of my last four yeah. that will have interest rate risk that I haven't touched yet. You know, and it's because it makes commercial. sense. You're, yeah. It makes sense. It's commercial. Not it. Well, again, I never, uh, again, you guys don't realize what we brought you with, with velocity mortgage, Agreed. 30 year money on commercial didn't exist. At least I never knew about it two years ago. It was always, oh, maybe we'll give you 25 year am with a 10 if you're super special and blah, blah, blah. Right. I never was super special. So I always got five years. But it's like, (laughs) guys don't understand. I'm Mike Zuber. Why the hell aren't I special? Didn't work. (laughs) I always give them, uh, I always give them, you know, my wife as a reference. (laughs) Just call her. I mean, if she- She'll tell you how solid I am. Exactly how special I am and how important this is that we do this. Yeah. So bring, like, bring your kids into the picture. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. This Sweetheart is Samuel. Letter. This is Samuel. He's going to work you over like a nine to five. Yep. yep. See that exactly. cute face? You got to give yeah, me that. Exactly. I'll be special. Exactly. Go ahead. Tell him no. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. Go ahead. We'll do it Cry. with him in Cry, your Samuel. office. Samuel. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it with him in your office. Yeah, exactly. Mike, awesome. again, awesome, awesome, awesome. Any other things that you want to add to this before we close this segment out? No, I just want people to realize... Uh, you know, one of the things I get asked a lot is, hey, speak to me, you know, speak to the guy that has 10, 15, 20 units, right? You're kind of, you know, you're maybe at Dion's level, right? For mm-hmm. unit count. What I would tell that individual is, A, congratulations. Yep. You clearly have a model that works. You're finding great deals. But the special wrinkle in this is managing the debt. That's sometimes right. that means cash out refi. Sometimes that means refinance. Sometimes that's 1031. But the next thing to work work on that really accelerates this velocity, if you will, of, of equity gain in, in cash flow is managing the debt. As we said yesterday, one of the three amigos, um, I was able, you know, I didn't do as many deals last year as you guys, but I increased my cash flow more because I did both sides. Yes. Right? So knobs and levers, right? Knobs and levers. Knobs and levers. Because all of my, I mean, that 80% increased cash flow was based on, like you were saying, was a lot, was both sides of it. Exactly. You're never going to get that in pure growth and you're never going to get that in pure refi savings. Mm -hmm. But when you put the two together, holy Toledo. Oh man. It was, I mean, Mike, 80%. Yeah. In a year that that goes down 80% better cash flow, And that was based on just a lot of loans, being able to take them out of the fives Yeah. and put them into the threes. Yeah. As I would say, that doesn't suck. Yeah. Sunny agrees. Yeah, Sunny, Sunny and Happy agree. <laughs> well done, Sunny and Happy. All right, Mike, thank you again. Where can we find you, my friend, for this one rent, information? One rental at a time channel, books, books. In, uh, YouTube, all that stuff. Sorry. Yep. And we won't be paying his guest appearance fee, but we appreciate him making the appearance. That's right. Thank you I much, did. Sunny. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like and and eleven a.m. Eastern time, eight a.m. Pacific time on tomorrow. Saturdays. The live stream tomorrow. I will be there. Mike, thanks a bunch. Look forward to segment number two. You got it. Take care.